Welcome everybody to Saturday morning slow flow. We're gonna get started here on our back. So when you're ready, come to your back. And just let yourself relax down. If you have your knees bent like me, you can extend your legs all the way long. That feels better. Just take a couple moments to arrive here. So to get your focus to your breath. Control your breath just yet. Just take this time to become aware of it, to let it guide you, to ground you to your mat. As it takes over your mind, it will push all your other distractions to the background. So you can be here, just fully focused on your mat, your practice. Or you can be fully present to your mat, your practice. Feel like you've got that full focus on your breath, then you're going to add that element of control to your breath. Close your mouth, see if you can breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Let your breath become longer, slower, deeper. So as you inhale, pulling that breath all the way down into your belly, and as you exhale, you're pushing it all the way out. Maybe we can start to move here. Just with one breath, one movement. All right. So when we're ready to start moving, all you're going to do at first, just take your knees, put them into your chest. Take some lumbar circles here. That means you're going to let your knees go over to the right and push them away from your body. Bring them to the left, pull them back in, just making those circles around your sacrum, the low part of your back. It should feel good. A little spinal massage. Next time you have those knees hugged all the way in, just take a little pause and go the other direction. Take your knees over to the left first, then away from your body, then to the right, circling around. So one complete breath for each circle that you make. You inhale as you push it to the left, out, exhale to the right, and in. And then next time you've got those knees hugged all the way into your chest, now we're going to rock up into an easy sit. So you're going to take your hands to the crease of your knees and just rock yourself up to seated, right? Land right in easy sit. It doesn't matter which leg comes in front. We're going to switch it out in a minute. All right, so you're right here. You're going to inhale, sweep your hands up to the sky, and then as you exhale, take a twist to the right, right? So you're just going to bring your right hand back behind you. Take your left hand outside your right knee, look over your right shoulder. You can let your hands relax, right? Inhale, lengthen out, take your hands overhead, reach them up high, and then as you exhale, go the other way. Right, take that left hand back behind you, take your right hand outside your left knee, look over your left shoulder. Inhale, rise back up, and then we're just gonna flow a couple times. We exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, lengthen out. Do it a couple more times each way. Move in with your breath. Last one here. And then come all the way up. Sweep your hands up high. Reach your fingertips toward the ceiling. And then just drop your hands down in front of your shins. Walk it out forward here as much as you can. back up here. Now you're going to sweep your hands up to the sky again, right? But switch out your legs. I should say that first, right? Switch your legs the other way. Bring that awkward leg in front. We're going to do the same thing here. We're just going to do a little side bend flow. So you're going to drop your right hand to the right. Reach that left hand up and over. Then inhale, come back up. Now drop your left hand to the left. Reach that right hand up and over. Inhale, lengthen out and just keep flowing here. Exhale, reach to the right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, the left, inhale, lengthen. Just do it twice more each way.
last one. hands all the way up. Now turn your palms towards the front of the room and just roll forward here. So walk as far forward as you can. Keep your hips on the ground, right? Maybe you're not going as deep as you did last time. and a tabletop if you want to. You can unwind your legs first, then come, but come into that tabletop, shoulders over the wrist, hips over the knees, hands shoulder width, knees hip width. We're gonna take a couple cat cows just to get our body and breath in perfect sync. So as you inhale here, lift your chin up to the sky, tuck your tailbone under, let your belly drop, cow, exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, round up your back, hold up your armpits, cat. So just keep moving here, inhale, cow. So cat, inhale cow, exhale cat. You can be going faster or slower than me here. You can be going faster or slower than anybody else around. But you're just trying to find that place where you're matching your movements to your breath. All right, eventually we're gonna meet back here in neutral tabletop. And then from neutral tabletop, you're just gonna tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back, come in, to your first down dog of the morning. Two so fingers are spread wide like starfish. You've got that pointer finger at the front of the mat. You can add some movement here if you want to bend one knee, bend the other, walk in the dog. Maybe you're gonna sway your hips. Maybe you're just staying still. Just notice what's going on with your body. Feel it. You're feeling every part of your body here because we're in down dog. It's so great about down dog. But listen to your body, make sure you're doing what it needs to go through the rest of practice. All right, from here, let's bend the knees, look between the thumbs, just bring your feet forward, your hands come to forward fold. So now your belly's touching your upper thighs, and your head is hanging heavy and long. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Make sure there's no creases in the back of your neck. Make sure your belly's on your thighs. Bend the knees as much as you need to for that to happen. We're gonna start our sun salutations with a couple twists here. And so you're just gonna plant your left hand on the mat. Put a little bend in your left knee. Push your right leg straight. Take your right hand up to the side. Twist to the right. right and drop that right hand down. Put a little bend in your right knee as you push your left leg straight and then take your left hand up to the sky. Let that left hand come down. As we inhale, we're gonna take a half lift monkey. Shoulders even with the hips. Back nice and flat. Arm the head towards the front of the room. Exhale, fold back down, belly to thighs. This time as we inhale, in reverse swan dive, come all the way up to standing. Now, as you exhale here, just grab a hold of your right wrist, or left wrist, sorry, with your right hand, pull to the right. We did those side bends earlier, so maybe this feels good. If it doesn't, you can always just do a drop down side bend instead if you feel like you're not ready for that pull. Inhale, come back to center. Now we're gonna switch it out. Grab your right wrist with your left hand, pull to the right. Inhale, come back to center. And now as you exhale, sweep your hands back behind you. Interlace your hands behind your back. Pull your shoulder blades together, press your knuckles towards the floor, push your hips forward, take your chest and your gaze up. Then inhale, stand tall, and as you exhale, hinge at the hip, take your hands with you, come all the way down to a forward fold. So you're lifting your hands up and off your back with it, you come right up and over your head. Now you're going to release your hands here, come back into your forward fold. This time as you inhale, take a half lift again, into monkey, fold back down. Now you're gonna step back into plank. We're doing this a little differently today, right? So you're here in your plank. I do want you to lower down, right? So you can drop your knees or you can stay on your toes, but you're gonna bend your elbows, hug them to your ribs, get yourself all the way down to your belly. And then from there, take your hands out behind you, turn your palms face up, and then you're gonna lift your chest, your shoulders up off the mat, reaching your fingers back behind you. Maybe your feet lift, I know you can't see that. You're watching me on the camera. Right? But you're in a little locust here, instead of, a, instead of coming to a up dog or a baby cobra, right? Then you're gonna let your feet come down, take your hands, bring them back by your chest, tuck your toes, and just push yourself up. You can come up through a tabletop, or you can come straight up into plank, and then you come back into down dog. 
All right? So that's our sun salutation for today. We're going to do it a couple more times. We're going to move a little faster. Move with our breath. So bend your knees. Look between your thumbs. Bring your feet forward your hands. And the forward fold. We're going to take our twist first. Plant that left hand. Open up with the right hand. Twist to the right. Let your right hand come down. Plant it. Take your left hand up. Twist to the left. Let that left hand come down and plant. Inhale. Half lift monkey. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Reverse swan back. Come all the way up. Grab the left wrist to the right hand, pull to the right. Come back to center, switch out your hands, pull to the left. Come back to center, sweep your hands back behind you. Interlace them, pull the shoulder blades together, let yourself go right into that back bend. Inhale, come up tall, exhale, hinge at the hip, take the hands with you, come down to forward fold. Release your hands to the back, take another half lift monkey. Fold, plant your hands, step or float back to plank. So from your knees and from your toes, you're going to lower down to your belly, bending your elbows, hugging them to your ribs. Once you're all the way down, slide your feet, sweep your hands back behind you, palms face up, and then lift up into that locust. Come back down, tuck your toes, take your hands by your chest, push up either straight up into plank or through tabletop, and then shift to down dog. All right, let's take that one more time through. Bend your knees and look between your thumbs. Bring your feet forward your hands. Plant your left hand. Open up with your right hand. Take your twist. Let your right hand come down. Switch it out. Twist to the left. Let your left hand come down. Come to your fold. Half lift to monkey. Fold back down. Swan back up. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. Pull to the right. Come back to center. Switch it out. Pull to the left. Um, back to center, sweep your hands back behind you, interlace your hands, open your chest, back bend, inhale, come up, and then exhale, take your hands with you, come to that forward fold here, lifting your hands up and off your low back, and then once you're all the way down, release them, take another half lift, fold back down, plant your hands, step back to plank, or modified plank on your knees, right, lower all the way down to your belly, flatten your feet, sweep your hands back, and then lift up into locust. And from locust, let everything come down, put your hands by your chest, push up straight into plank or through tabletop, and then shift to down dog. All right, this time from down dog, we're gonna come forward one more time, bend your knees, look between your thumbs, bring your feet forward your hands, come to forward fold. Now we're gonna come up into chair here. You're gonna bend your knees, stand your back and down, sweep that upper body up. Now, I want your elbows to go out to the sides here. You can either bring your hands to heart center, it looks like this, right? Or you can take your fingertips behind your neck, it looks like this, right? A little harder with your fingertips behind your neck. If you want to make this next part a little easier on yourself, hands are coming to heart center, right? You don't want to know what we're doing. First look down, make sure you can still see your toes and wiggle your toes, right? We're going to do a little twisting here. So, you're going to take your left shoulder. You're gonna bring it toward your right knee. Now you can lift off your right heel maybe and just stay right here and keep your right foot flat. Or maybe you lift your right foot up and your left elbow actually touches your right knee. Right. Then you're gonna drop it back, make sure you come back into chair. Elbows out to the sides, knees back behind your toes. All right, now go the other way. Right, you're twisting to the left, bringing your right shoulder to the left. Maybe you just come off your left heel, maybe you lift your left foot and touch your right elbow to your left knee. Come back to chair. Do that twice more each way. Twist to the right, come back to chair. Twist to the left, come back to chair. To the right, chair, to the left, and chair, right? Sink a little bit lower into your chair, take a deep inhale, and then exhale, just straighten your legs, drop down to forward fold. Take a half lift to monkey, fold back down, plant your hands, step or foot back to plank. Now lower. Down to your belly, sweep your hands back behind you, lift up into locust, and then drop everything down, bring your hands to your chest, push back up into tabletop or plank, and then shift to down dog. All right, from down dog, we're gonna take our right leg, lift it up to the sky. Then it's your right knee. I just want you to shift forward, bring your shoulders over your wrist, curl your right knee right up into your chest, and then take it back up to the sky. Now this time you're going to curl into your chest, but you're going to set that foot down right between your thumbs, coming into runner's lunge. You got to take an extra step or two to get there. That's okay. I'm turning around here so you guys can see. 
All right, so we're here in this runner's lunge. Look up towards the front of the room, and then drop your left knee down to the mat. Flatten out your left foot. Plant your left hand on the inside of your right foot. Peek your right hand up to the side. Just take a little kneeling, twisted lunge to the right. And then let that right hand come down outside your right foot. We're going to shift back here into half pyramid. Push your left leg straight. Put your left, or sorry, right leg. Let your right toes flip up off the mat. Drape your body over that right leg. Square your hips. Pulling your right hip forward as you push that left hip back. All right, and then walk it back forward. Back in to runner's lunge. Look up towards the front of the room again. This time as we inhale, we're going to come up into a kneeling crescent. Just lift our body up, raise those hands up high. Right? And then just like we did in the sun salutation, sweep your hands back behind you. Interlace them behind your back. Pull your shoulder blades together. Let yourself go into a little back from here, right? You're leaning back, but you're pushing your lower body forward, still keeping your right knee right over your right ankle. Use your chest and your gaze go up towards the ceiling. All right, bring everything back up into kneeling press. Let's your hands up high. Sit up tall, and then drop your hands down on either side of your right foot. Now from here, we're going to tuck the left toes under. You're going to come up off your left knee. You can keep your left heel lifted. If you need to for stability, you can drop that left heel to the ground so your left toes point to the left. You're going to peel your upper body up off your right thigh and sweep your hands back behind you. You're coming to Thunderbolt. Your palms are up to the sky. Your thumbs are coming together. Pulling the shoulder blades together, covering your chest right over that right thigh, crown of the head towards the mirror. All right now from here, everybody's going to drop that left heel, sweep forward with your left hand, rainbow it all the way around, let it come along your left thigh as that right hand reaches up and over. You came right into reverse warrior. So with that deep bend in the right knee, keep bending into the right knee, send that right knee towards the pinky toe side of the foot. All right now from here, you're going to take both hands up overhead. And then turn your hips towards the front of the room. So you just rotate here into a warrior one. All right, from here, you're gonna make fists with your hands. Pull your elbows to your ribs. All right, so your knuckles are pointed forward. Now we're gonna do our fists of fire here. That means you're gonna step forward with your left foot. Now you have options here. You can curl that left knee all the way into your chest as you step forward, right? Make a little balance. Or you can just drop those left toes onto the ground next to your right foot. Make it a little easier, right? Either way, once you've done that, you're going to step back into your warrior one. All right, so let's do that three more times. So you decide whether you're coming into that balance with your knee to your chest, or you're just going to tap your toes next to your right foot. Right, but at the same time that you're doing that, you're pulling the elbows to the ribs. So it's exhale, inhale, step back. Exhale, inhale, step back. Do it one more time. And then step all the way back. Now we're back in warrior one. From here, we're just going to take it down to the mat. Let your hands come on either side of your right foot. Turn your left toes forward again. Step your right foot back. To meet your left, see her plank. Lower down to your belly. Sweep your hands back behind you. Palms face up. Lift up into your locust. And then let everything come down. Bring your hands by your chest. Push up through plank or tabletop. And then shift to down. All right, let's do that on the left side. Take your left leg, lift it up to the sky. Bend into your knee, curl it under your chest. Send it back up to the ceiling, and then stab it all the way through. Come to runner's lunge. I'm gonna flip around here so it's easier. Okay, so you're in runner's lunge. Let your right knee drop down this time. Flatten your right foot and want your right knee back behind your right hip. Left knee right over your left ankle. Plant your right hand on the inside of your left foot. Take your left hand up to the sky. Twist to the left. Your shoulders over your chest. Let that left hand come down, look up towards the front of the room, and then shift into your half pyramid. Let your left leg straighten, let your left toes flip up, drape your body over that left leg. Square your hips here, that means your left hip goes forward, and your right hip pushes back. The more you bring your right hip towards your right heel, the more you're going to feel it. But you want to sit down with that right heel, even if you could, you got to keep a little bit of space there to feel the stretch. All right, let's come back forward, bend back into your left knee, bring it over your left ankle, hands on either side of your left foot, look up, and then just draw yourself up into that kneeling crescent, reaching your hands up high. Take your hands to come around behind your back, and release them, open your chest, pull your shoulder blades together, lean back, look up, take a little back bend. Right. Then we'll 
release your hands back up to the sky. Come back down to your kneeling runner's lunge. Okay, now we're going to tuck those right toes under, come up off the right knee. Now you can stay up off your right heel or you can drop that right heel down. Let your right toes point to the right if you need a little stability. You're going to peel your upper body up off your left thigh. Sweep your hands back behind you. Come to your thunderbolt. Okay, so palms up to the sky, thumbs coming together. Chest is hovering over the left thigh. Crown of the head towards the mirror, the front of the room, right? You should be feeling this in your left quad, left glute. They're working. Hold you up. All right now, everybody's going to drop that right heel. Push your right hand all the way forward. It's going to make a big circle so it comes around your right thigh. And then your left hand reaches up and over. We're in reverse warrior. Keep bending into that left knee. Reaching back with those left fingertips. Create some space there. Both hands come up to the sky here. Turn your hips towards the front of the room. Come to warrior one. Now we're going to take our fist of fire. So you're going to make fists with your hands. You pull those elbows to your ribs. And then you step forward with your right foot. Again, you can just tap those right toes down. Or you can curl the right knee all the way up into your chest. Either way, you step back into your warrior one, hands up to the sky. All right, we're gonna do that three more times. So we exhale, inhale, back to warrior one. Exhale, bring that right foot forward. Exhale, back to warrior one. One more time. Step it back. All right, now as we step back here, now we're just gonna drop our hands down to the mat on either side of that left foot. Turn your right toes forward, step your left foot back to meet the right. So you're on plank or modified plank. Lower down to your belly. Sweep your hands back behind you. Lift up into locust. And then drop everything down. Bring your hands to your chest. Tuck your toes. Push it into plank or tabletop. And then to down dog. All right, we're going to do all that one more time. We'll go through the parts we've already been through a little bit faster. Then we've got some stuff to add on. Bend your knees. Look between your thumbs. Bring your feet forward your knees. Come to forward fold. We're first going to come up into chair again, right? So you bend your knees, send your hips back and down, peel your upper body up, get your elbows out to the sides, either make them at heart center or take your fingertips behind your neck, right? Now here, you're going to drop your right shoulder towards your left knee, right? Pick that left foot up if you want or just keep it down, right? But you're taking that twist, come back to chair. Now go the other way, go to the right. Let's fall over, let's <laughs> come back, right? Now come to the left. Here, I'm doing it without lifting my foot because it's a little easier. Back to center. Go to the right. Back to center. One more time. Twist to the left. Back to center. Twist to the right. Back to center. Take a deep <coughs> here. Sink a little lower. And then on your next exhale, just straighten your legs. Drop your hands to the back and back to forward fold. Half lift to monkey. Fold back down, plant your hands, step or float, back to plank, lower to your belly, sweep your hands back behind you, lift up into your locust, and drop everything down, bring your hands to your chest, push through tabletop, or down dog, or plank, tuck your toes, come to down dog. All right, now from down dog, you're going to take your right leg, lift it up to the sky, bend it to your right knee, curl it under your chest, right, get your shoulders over your wrists. Deep knee towards nose, then take the right leg back up, then step it all the way through, come to runner's lunge. Drop down to your left knee, look up, and then plant your left hand on the inside of your right foot, right hand up to the sky. Let that right hand come down, shift to half pyramid. Come back forward, into runner's lunge, look up, and let yourself come all the way up. Hands back behind you, interlace. Shift back into your back bend. Come up tall, reach your hands up high, and then drop them down. Back to kneeling runner's lunge. Now we come off the left knee. All right, drop your left heel or keep it up. Peel your chest up off the left thigh. Sweep your hands back behind you. I reach in the front, which you can do if you want to. It makes it a little harder. All right, now from here we're coming into reverse warrior. So if you have your left heel up, you're going to drop it down. Rainbow your left hand all the way around until it comes to your left thigh. Reach those right fingertips up and over. Take your left hand up and then square your hips towards the front of the room. Now we're going to do those fists of fire. Make your fists with your hands, pull your elbows to ribs, step forward with your left foot. Step it back, warrior one. Do it three more times. Come 
forward, warrior one. Fist of fire, warrior one. Last one, to your fist of fire, and then back to your warrior one. Now this time, here's what we're gonna add on, right? You're gonna drop your hands down to the mat again, right? And this time, you're just gonna lift up your left foot. Keep your right knee bent. You're just gonna tap your left knee behind your right knee. Keep your hands on the ground, right? It's just a basic twisted cheetah. And then step all the way back. Drop your left heel to the mat. So your left toes are pointed to the left. We're gonna push away from the mat with both hands. Straighten out your right leg. Turn your right toes towards the left side of the room and take your hands up to the sky. So you're in five-pointed star. We're gonna take a breath here. The whole point is to lengthen the spine. So that's what we're doing. Lengthening out. Now, bring your hands together. Pull them to the center. Bend into your left knee, so towards the back of the room, right? And touch your left elbow to your left knee. If you want to take this really deep into your skandasana, go for it. You can let your left heel lift. Let your right toes flip up off the mat. Then we're coming all the way back up. You're going to come back up through five point of star, reach up high. And then bring your palms together. Bend into your left knee. Or sorry, yeah, no, no your right knee. <laughs> come into your skandasana towards the front of the room. Now, once you're in your skandasana at the front of the room, drop your hands down inside your left foot, or your right foot, sorry, and walk yourself back around to runner's lunge. All right, from runner's lunge, turn your left toes forward, push off with those left toes, you're gonna straighten your right leg, and just come to standing splits. So your belly's on your right thigh, crown of the head towards that, reach that left leg up. All right, and now from here, you're gonna bend back in to your right knee, let your left toes land long. You can drop your heel or keep it up here. That's up to you. Pull your belly slightly off your right thigh. Bring your hands to heart center and then twist to the right. So bring that left elbow toward your right knee. Maybe just to the inside. Maybe right on top. Maybe you can hook all the way over. Now as we end this here, everybody's going to drop that left heel. You're going to straighten out your right leg. Right, Your hips turn towards the left side of the room, but your right toes are still pointed towards the front of the room. Take your hands up to the sky. Grab your right wrist with your left hand. Pull back towards the back of the room into Sky Archer, right? So you're just creating all that space in your right side body. All right, release your hands, bend your knees, drop your hands to either side of your right foot, turn your left toes forward, step your right foot back, knee to left, and we're gonna come down to our belly. Sweep your hands back behind you, lift up into your locust. And then drop it all down, bring your hands to your chest, push up into tabletop or, or plank, and then shift to down bow. All right, so we just gotta do all that one more time on the left side. Flip it around, take your left leg up to the sky, bend into your left knee, curl it under your chest. Take it back up to the sky, step it all the way through, come to your runner's lunge. Catch that on the wrong leg, right? Ignore me. All right, now we're gonna drop down to our right knee, flatten out your right foot. Plant your left, right hand on the inside of your left foot. Take your left hand up to the sky. So twisting. Drop that left hand down. And then shift back into your half pyramid. Come back forward into your kneeling runner's lunge. Look up towards the front of the room. And then sweep your hands up to the sky. Little crescent. Sweep your hands around back behind you. Interlace them. Pull your shoulder blades together over your chest. Take a little back bend here. Keep pushing your lower body forward. Rise back up, arms go up overhead, drop your hands down on either side of your left foot, now come off your right knee, tuck your right toes, lift up off that right knee, you can drop your right heel here, leave it down, right, or leave it up, you're going to peel up, come into your thunderbolt, reach your hands behind you, get that belly off the left thigh, so using your core hold you up here, and then we're going to rainbow all the way around with that right hand, so to reach forward, rainbows all the way around as we come to our reverse warrior. Bending deeply into that left knee. Push back further with the left fingertips. Then bring both hands up to the sky. Turn your hips toward the front of the room. All right, we're gonna do that last time with these fists of fire, right? Make your fists, pull to your elbows, step forward with your right foot here. Lifting or tapping. Step back to warrior one. Do that three more times. Fist of fire, warrior one. Fist of fire, warrior one. Last one. Into warrior one. Then from our warrior one, now you drop your hands down. They're going to come on either side of your left foot. Turn the 
right toes forward. Now you're just going to bring that right foot up. Just tap behind your left knee. Or, yeah, with your right knee. There you go. Now step it all the way back. Land with your right toes toward the right side of the room. You're going to come up, push your left leg straight, turn your right toes, <coughs> sorry, left toes towards the right side of the room. <coughs> Hands up to the sky. So you're going to full five point and start lengthening your spine. Bring your palms together, pull them to heart center. Go to the back of the room first, so toward the right. Bend into your right knee, bring your right elbow toward your right knee. If you want to make it really deep, make it really deep. Push that right leg straight, come back up through five pointed star. Now bend into your left knee. Touch your left elbow to your left knee. Drop your hands down inside your left foot. Walk it back around to runner's lunge toward the top of your mat. All right, so your right toes are lifted, or your right heel is lifted. You're gonna push off your right toes. Straighten your left leg, come to your standing splits here. It's like a forward fold on one leg. Your belly still touches your left thigh. So the crown of your head goes towards the ground. Your hands are on the ground. If you're not lifting that right leg very high, it's okay. All right. Now, we bend back into the right knee so we can land back in runner's lunge. You can keep your right heel up or you can drop it down for this part, right? But you're gonna peel your upper body up off that left thigh. Bring your hands to heart center and then twist to the left. Maybe your right elbow inside the left knee, maybe on the left knee. Maybe you're moving over to the left knee. Get your thumbs to our center. So your chest is open toward the left side of the room. All right, now last thing here, everybody's gonna drop their right heel. As we untwist, we push the right left leg straight. Let your hips turn to the right. Hands go up to the sky. Left toe stay pointed towards the top of your mat. Take your left wrist with your right hand and pull it towards the back of the room. Just create that space in your left side body. All right, release your hands here, bend into your left knee, drop it back down into runner's lunge. Turn your right toes forward, step your left foot back, meet the right, lower to your belly, sweep your hands back behind you, come up to locust, and then drop everything down, hands to your chest, push into plank or tabletop, and then shift to down dog. All right, now from here, bend into your knees, and look between your thumbs, bring your feet forward to your hands, come to forward fold. Belly touching your upper thighs. Head hanging heavy and long. All right, now we're gonna toggle our feet out wide here. The edge of the mat, turn your heels in and your toes out. We're gonna drop down into our last mesh camera here. We get a block. I can show you all the options. Right. So you're dropping down. You can sit on a block if you want, right? Or you can stay without the block. Keep your hips lifted. You can come all the way to bound ankles. Then this is comfortable too. And be here. Right, you decide where you want to be. Wherever you are, close your eyes. Take a few moments here. Bring that focus back to your breath. Make sure you still have that focus on your breath. Make sure you still have control of your breath. If you lost you those things while we were flowing, here's your chance to get it back. Slow your breaths, lengthen your breaths, deepen your breaths. All right, now eventually we're gonna come from here, we're all gonna come into a forearm plank, right? So this is our core work. These are called the wood chippers. They're fun. <laughs> Karen doesn't believe me. Yeah, right? So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna come to that forearm plank. Now it can be a modified forearm plank down on your knees. I'll try to show you both options. I'm gonna turn this way because it's gonna be easier for you guys to see. We're gonna stay on the right side at first. We're not alternating our sides, all right? You're down on your forearms. Your elbows are right over your shoulders, right? In a modified plank, I would be here. My back is nice and flat, but my knees are on the ground. I'm lifting my feet up off the ground. Full, I'm on my toes, and my knees are lifted, right? Now, take your right hand. You're gonna pick it up and just take it out to the, off the right edge of your mat with your fingertips on the ground, right? Your right arm's coming straight out to the right. You're gonna let your heels or your feet come over to the left, and then you're gonna lift your right hand up to the sky. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you can do it from your knees, right? I'm gonna show you from your knees. You send that right hand out. You send both feet over to the left. You lift your hand up, All right? Now, your hand comes back down. Those feet or those heels come back to center, and you're just gonna do it four more times, all right? So the heels or the feet go to the left, hands lifts. Hand comes down, heels and knees 
come back to center. Here I'm doing my toes. We're gonna do it three more times. Heels or knees, go to the left, hand lifts, come back down, bring it all back to center. Twice more, drop your heels, lift your hand, bring it back to center. One more time, drop your heels, lift that right hand, bring it back to center. Now this time, as you come back to center, take your right arm, bring it back to forearm plank, hold for a breath, and then drop your knees, shift back into child's pose. Okay, we'll do this we're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna do it all on the left side, right? So when you're ready, come back to your forearm plank, either modified or full, right? I'm gonna do the whole thing from my knees this time, right? If you were able to do it from full plank, then you probably got it down, right? So bend your knees so that your feet are up in the sky if you're down here in modified plank like me. Take your left hand, reach it out to the left. So you're on your left fingertips, right? Let your feet or your heels drop to the right Sweep your left hand up to the sky. Drop your left hand first, then bring your feet or your heels back to center. All right, we're gonna do that four more times. Feet or heels to the right, lift your left hand, bring the left hand down, bring your knees and your feet back to center. All right, to the right with the knees and the heels, lift the left hand, drop the left hand, bring the knees and the heels back to center. Two more times, right? Take those knees over, lift your hand, drop it down, Come back to center. One more time. Drop the heels. Lift the hand. Bring it all back to center. All right, now from here, take that right left hand, bring it back to forearm plank. Hold your forearm plank for a breath. And then let everything come back into child's pose. Reach your arms out long. If you want to relax your shoulders a little bit more, reach your hands towards your feet. That's fine too. And then when we're ready here, we're gonna come up in the tabletop. From tabletop, drop your hips to one side or the other, swing your legs around in front of you. All right, you're gonna take your legs out super wide, as wide as you can. And then we'll back here. You can see my, all my feet. I'm taking my legs nice and wide. Now, what you're gonna do here, you're gonna bend into your left knee. You're gonna bring the sole of your left foot against your right inner thigh. So you're here, so your left foot probably off, I mean your right foot, probably off your mat. Left foot should be on your mat, right? Now you're gonna take your hands in front of your left shin and just walk it forward. Bringing it down to your elbows, bringing it down to your chest. Maybe you just brought your hands barely in front of your left shin and that's all good. Take three or four breaths right here. Now we're going to turn. We're just going to come into a basic half butterfly forward fold over your right leg. So turn your torso towards your right leg and just fold over that right leg. Maybe you can grab on to your foot here, right? The belly comes to your thighs, the nose goes towards your knee. Maybe your hands are on your shin or your knee. Maybe your hands are just on the mat on the other side of you, right? So you're just bringing that upper body as much as you can over that right leg, nose towards the knee. You should feel this as a nice stretch in your right hamstring. A slight twist as we twist over to the right. Take three more breaths here. And then slowly peel yourself back up. All right, now from here, we're going to twist. We're going to twist to the left. So you're going to take your left hand all the way over. Drop it back behind your left hip. Take your right hand, bring it outside your left knee, and then look over your left shoulder. Take two more breaths here. And then untwist, bring it all back to center. All right, now from here, you're gonna take your right hand to your right thigh, and just start to slide that right hand down your right leg as much as you can while your chest stays open towards the top of your mat, right? Take your left hand, reach it straight up to the sky, and then just take those left fingertips, reach them towards your right toes, right? They're not gonna touch, well, maybe for some of you, they can touch, not for me. 
but you're reaching, right? keeping your chest spiraling open. You don't want your chest to collapse towards the ground. We'll take two more breaths here. And then slowly peel it back up. As we come all the way back up here, now you're gonna take your left leg and kick it straight out, right? Bend into your right knee, bring that right knee in against the sole, or bring the sole of your right foot against your left inner thigh, right? And we first fold over that right shin. So bring your hands in front of your right shin between your knee and your ankle. Just walk it out, whatever angle that is, right? If you get down to your elbows, great. If you're on your palms, great. If you can get down to your chest and your head, great. One more breath here. And then slowly walk back up. All right, now as we come all the way back up here. We, you know, now we twist, right? We're gonna twist to the right this time. Now we have to take the fold first. We're gonna go over towards the left leg. I don't know which part are we on? All right, so you're gonna <laughs> just do that straight forward fold over your left leg, right? Half butterfly forward fold. Take your hands on either side of your left leg, just walk it forward. Right? You can grab onto your foot here, do it. If you're just on your ankle or your knee or your shin, that's okay. If your hands are just on the mat on either side of your left leg, that's okay. That chest as far forward as you can over your left leg. Let's take three more breaths here. Right now, let yourself slowly peel up and then we twist to the right. So you're going to sweep that right hand back behind you. Take your left hand outside your right knee. Peel your chest open toward the right side of the room. Look over your right shoulder. And then twist here. Bring your left hand along your left thigh and just slide it down as much as you can towards your left foot, keeping your chest open, right? And then take your right hand, reach it up to the sky, reach the right bicep over the right ear so your right fingertips are reaching towards your left toes. Keep your chest open, right? You wanna be here where you're collapsing towards the ground. Try to spiral that chest up. Let's just take three more breaths here. Slowly peel up. Right. Now, take that right foot, kick it back out. So you're just back in that wide straddle pose. And then just for a couple breaths, let's just take this basic wide forward fold. Bring your hands right in the center of your legs. And just walk as far forward as you can. Keeping your back nice and flat. Maybe here you come down to your elbows. Maybe you can come down to your chest. If you have a block, check out our block. Right. You keep the block underneath your hands to help you get a little further forward while keeping that connection with the ground. Maybe you use that block as a landing place for your head. You want the crown of your head to stay towards the front of the room, right? So here I can land it on the block and it keeps the crown of my head towards the front of the room. It's supposed to come in here where I let my chin tuck to my chest and I start to round out. Right? But you don't have to use the block at all. It'll just be right here. Right? So we can be landing right here. As long as you're feeling that stretch in your inner thighs, we're doing this one right. Let's take three more breaths.
come up here, you're going to bring your legs together. Right? And then bend into your knees, put your feet on the ground. So you want your toes up at the top of your mat. We're going to lay down on our back here. Right? So your arms out long, tuck your chin to your chest, wrap it all the way down. And then we're going to come into our bridge here. So walk your heels a little closer to your glutes, as close as you can get them. Take your hands to your sides, palms face down. Push all four corners of both feet into the mat. Lift your hips up to the sky. Right, so you're here. If you have a block, you can slide the block underneath your hips and rest your hips in the block. Make it a supported bridge. Right? You don't have to. You can stand supported. Use that strength in your legs. Push your hips up. Either way, your shoulders should be slightly tucked. <clears throat> That's your chest puffing open. If you want to make it really deep in an unsupported bridge, you tuck your entire shoulder, one then the other, underneath your back. And lift your hands underneath your back. That pushes your hips higher. Right, so you decide where you want to be here. Just take two more breaths. And then let's let ourselves come all the way down. Slowly start to let those hips come back down to the mat. All right, now, from here we're gonna come either into waterfall or supported waterfall, or that shoulder stand, right? It basically just means you're gonna take your feet and push them up to the sky. This is your basic waterfall, feet right above the hips. Right, head, hips, and shoulders all on the ground. If you have a block and you put it underneath your hips for supported waterfall, it actually makes it a little bit more intense here, right? Because now I've elevated my hips even more. You can always come to full shoulder, shoulder stand. That's where you lift your hips up on your own. Put your hands in the small of your back so you're supporting yourself on your shoulders and your forearms. <coughs> so you can be in shoulder stand. You can be in supported waterfall. You can be in regular waterfall with your hips on the ground. You decide. Your body will tell you where it wants to be. Getting the blood to go from the feet where it pools all day back to our head and our heart where we need it more. Right? That's important for our circulation. In addition to that increased circulation, we're also naturally lowering our blood pressure and we're flooding the body with all sorts of anti-aging, anti-stress hormones. So a lot of good things happen when we get a little bit upside down, so that's why we have to do it at least once each class, right? Take a couple more breaths here. And then when we're ready to come out of it, we're all going to come out of it the same way, whatever version you're in. Bend your knees, let them scrape right along your face, right along your body. Slowly drop your feet back down to the mat. Now, if you're in supported waterfall and you still have that block under there, slide it out from under. Everybody's hips are going to come flat to the mat. And then we go in to our happy baby. So your feet are going to come up to the sky again, right? This time they separate, maybe slightly, maybe a lot. Maybe just bend, maybe slightly, maybe a lot. All that is up to you, right? What feels good? Reach out for your same foot with your same hand. If you don't reach your foot, grab your ankle or your shin or your knee. Once you've made that connection, you want to roll forward just slightly so you can really feel that sink on the low part of your back. Press into the mat. You're going to rock from side to side, just giving yourself a little spinal massage. It should feel good. If it doesn't, then you can stay still. Now that you're in the pose, you'd rather change your leg position, make your legs wider or straighter, or bend them more, bring them in more, right? Do whatever you want to do to make it feel good. Make your happy baby be the happy part of your practice. And from there, you're going to take your knees, hug them all the way into your chest. Let's take our final twist right here. Let your arms butt long, like wings, in that T position. And as you exhale, drop your knees to the right, take your chin and your gaze to the left. So you want to keep that left shoulder anchored here. If you want to make this more, you can take your right hand, press your knees closer to the earth. Or maybe if you have the space, you extend your legs so as your toes go toward your right fingertips. Or you can just stay where you are, right? Just keep that left shoulder anchored. That's what's giving you the twist. On your next inhale here, bring your knees back to center and then let them fall to the left as your chin, your gaze goes to the right. So take that left hand, press it into closer to the earth, look over your right shoulder. You want to extend your legs towards the left fingertips if you can. Now let's finish off this twist just to seal off our practice. Let our bodies remember everything they did today. So next time we come practice, it's all a little easier. We go everywhere a little deeper. 
your next inhale here. Pull your knees back to center. Give them one final hug into your chest. And then we're gonna finish off with our final, final pose, our Shavasana, right? the best part. Extend your legs long, take your hands to your sides. That's your traditional Shavasana, flat on your back. You don't have to stay there if it's not comfortable to you. You can bend your knees, you can butterfly your legs. You can roll to your side, you can roll to your belly. Just find somewhere to be where you're perfectly comfortable, where you're gonna be able to stay perfectly still. And most importantly, where your mind is gonna be able to go perfectly quiet. I'm gonna come around and spray the towels for those of you that are in the studio. All right. A little sea salt spray, if I can find it. Somewhere, somewhere I hope. Here we go. Uh, if you are at home and you don't, you don't get a spray, obviously, but if you have a towel, something, you can put over your eyes, do that. Let yourself to draw a little bit from your senses. If you don't have anything, just close your eyes. Let yourself start to come to that place. slowly start to come back into the room wiggle your fingers your toes feeling that increase sensation that come to the quiet mind if you want to here you can take the arms overhead do a nice full deep body stretch and then from there just let yourself roll over onto your right side in a fetal position take a couple breaths right there just reacclimate to our space the sights the sounds that you want to come back to you take as long as you need right here and when you're ready, only when you're ready, push yourself up to seated. And we will close here. All right, so we're going to close here just with our two Pumari breaths and then an Om. The Pumari breath, we inhale, so we exhale, make that little humming sound in the back of the throat. The Om is the universal syllable, it uses all parts of the throat. You can join me in the breath, so you can just listen. Let's close our eyes here. We'll inhale together. Mm. open. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you, all of you, for sharing your energy, your practice with me this morning. The light in me, I'm just the light in each of you. Namaste. Right. And I will see you all um, tomorrow morning for some gentle, so you can come join me for that. Um, otherwise, um, have a great rest of your weekend. See you soon.